What's going on guys? So, look at this animal. Woo! So guys, I picked this up on uh, Craigslist. Super, super awesome deal I got on this thing. Dirt cheap. Uh, it looks to be like an 80s, maybe 90s uh, biplane. And after doing some research, <coughs> excuse me. After doing some research, uh, the guy that I bought it off of didn't know nothing about it. He never flew it. He just thought it was cool and he bought it years ago. And uh, he didn't know the name of it. He knew nothing about it. So apparently uh, I did some research and it's a Great Plains Super Sky Bolt. And this is a kit version because this was, this was hand built back in the day when you had to build these things and you didn't have the ARPs and everything. The almost ready to flies. But... I just thought it was totally cool. Dirt cheap. It has a 120 uh, Sato engine. I guess it's pronounced Sato. S-A-I-T-O, which are very popular. And they actually still make the, they don't make the 120. They have a 125 now that almost looks, looks almost identical to this. Got the little push rods and everything. It's a four stroke, uh, four stroke nitro. And it was completely seized up when I got it. So I can completely tore the whole thing apart. Uh, cleaned it all real good Put it back together fired right up. Oh, yeah, and it sounds great So I thought I'd at least fire it up for you I got the wings off because I wanted to work on it. The ser it has servos in it, but they're They're not They're not working very good. So I'm gonna put some new servos in it uh, Get myself a 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver for it <laughs> because it came with uh, the old school Look at this thing the old school FM long antenna look at that antenna uh yeah the Futaba this is a this is probably a nice receiver back in the day this Futaba uh 72 megahertz fm receiver so old school so anyway i'm gonna fire it up for you let her let you see how it sounds i'm gonna have to control the throttle through the uh just by moving the servo under here Servo horn to control the throttle. So, all right, guys, look at that thing. Ain't that sharp? <laughs> all right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, so I already primed the engine. Uh, should be fueling the carb already. And the one way to check is put your uh, glow igniter on. And, oh, I'll be quiet over there. And I'm going to use this glove because these, these propellers can kick back and cut your fingers hard. Cut them right off. So you just turn, turn this. See that? See that jolt? I got a big jolt. That means uh, that means it's got. See that jolt? It's got fuel. It's ready to start. So here we go. Awesome. Alright, there she is, Island. 
Fourth group. Fourth group night group. Look at that thing, man. Fourth. Trying to get the uh, engine, make sure it's running right. It's sounding pretty good. Nothing like a, a glow engine, nitro engine, whew, on an airplane or RC car. <sighs> so I got her tuned, waiting on my servos to come in and her new receiver. Uh, everything else is good to go. Got the wings down there; they're they're in pretty good shape. There's a few few imperfections in the wings, but this thing's old. So I'm excited to get it up in the air, and you will be seeing it as soon as I do. Talk to you later, guys. Till next time, the RC element.